All right, today's question comes from YouTube subscriber Superfiver. Thanks again, Superfiver. It's been great getting your questions. And this time, Superfiver asks to you, what is the difference between ego and spirit? In other words, how do I know if my heart's in the right place? And this is a really important question. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to be on a journey. It's wonderful to feel called to go and do things. That's what it's all about. But it's really important to make sure we're starting from the right place. I mean, if it all begins with your intention, if that's your real prayer, if your intention is the paradigm, the boundary of your next experience, it's really important to see what your intentions are. So how do I know if my heart's in the right place, first of all? If you're asking that question at all, it's a really good sign, isn't it? If you're concerned about coming from a place of, uh, of, of calling rather than a place of uh, ego, you're probably okay. It's a beautiful catch-22, isn't it? But there's more to say. Before I say anything, though, I want to let you know that there is an amazing ancient book about this. It's called The Little Me and the Great Me. It's a children's book. It's from the, the 20s, I think. I've been reading it since I was a little kid. It might be out of print, but you can still find it at used bookstores, and sometimes it comes up on Amazon or eBay or places like that. The Little Me and the Great Me. It's a wonderful book, and it really explains the difference in a way that kids can understand. Here's the thing. It has to do with your desire to bring together or to set apart. Because your ego is inherently dualistic. Ego says there's me and there's other people. But some kind of an inner calling, the truth about you, is inherently unitive. It brings together. So ask yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Am I doing it because I want to bring apart or bring together? Because when you think about it, ego is really the same thing as fear, is really the same thing as hate, is really the same thing as selfishness. All of that stuff says there's you out there and there's me in here and I'm better than you or I'm afraid of you or I need your approval or whatever. But in one way or another, it sets apart. And you're only going to get more of what you're working on, if you know what I mean. We increase what we praise. We get more of what we pay attention to. And so if I'm feeding dualism, I'm only going to get more dualism when what I really want is unity. Ego sets apart. But when I live from the truth of myself, I inspire other people to do the same thing. And we may have our differences, but we can come together in our desire to grow. This is the beginning of love, and this is the beginning of peace, and this is the beginning of happiness. It's a beautiful thing to want to let your light shine. I love that statement. But here's the thing about letting your light shine. Lights aren't for looking at. I mean, think about it. Don't look at the light bulb that's in your room right now because you're going to see purple splotches and everything. Lights aren't for looking at. A light is for illuminating the rest of the room. Your light is for illuminating the rest of your world so that other people can see what they're doing better. Other people can make healthier choices. Other, be other people can realize that freedom is a choice. Let us get to the place where what we want is not to make other people think a certain way about us, not to make other people happy or sad or anything, but rather we just want to serve because there is this light, this truth, this beauty, this power inside of us that has to come out. Let us get to that place where we don't care what it looks like. We just have to let it go without any attachment to the outcome. That is the truth about you. That is what it means to be called to something greater. That is what it means to have passion. Look, I love you, but I don't care what you do with this. I'm going to give you my honesty and my truth. I'm going to let my light shine so that my world can be a little bit brighter. That's what I want from you. That's what the world wants from you. So keep me posted on your progress. As always, thanks for your questions. They're amazing. Keep them coming. Keep sending me the questions in any way that makes sense to you. Facebook or YouTube or email or carrier pigeon, whatever it takes. Thanks for sharing these videos. Thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. That means a lot. Take care of each other.